السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ There's no other way to say this and there's no better way to get to the end of the evening than to speak to my man Mr. Ahmed Parak an award winner this evening here at Minara uh, for community builder I think it's an award that was long overdue and I think it's been great that people have been able to hear your story more for inspiration to get involved in the community as much as you have been Assalamu alaikum Ahmed Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, Ilal TV for this such a beautiful evening as well as Minara Chamber to, to have confidence in me and, and give me this award. Alhamdulillah, make shukar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Minara as yourself. You'll always be uh, supportive in, in whatever endeavors I have uh, got. So Alhamdulillah for that. Alhamdulillah, I know we've spoken to you prior to the awards, we spoke to you earlier this evening, but what was some of the, some of the, some of the vibe that you picked up this evening? There were a lot of people in the room, a lot of old friends, a lot of new friends. Give us a little bit about that experience, Ahmed. You know, the whole hall, when I went around and, you know, everybody wanted to greet with me, there was a mayat. Also, uh, at 10.30, the wife was trying to get hold of me. I couldn't make it for that moment because, you know, I had to meet everyone here. And uh, uh, all of them said this is was long overdue, long overdue. And I said, you know, everything happens with the will of Allah. Yes. So this is what it is. And, and Alhamdulillah, I must make sure, you know what, even today too, I got this award. You know, for me, award and all is, is nothing. Long as we get the work done and we can serve the community and my goal is always whatever i do is for the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alhamdulillah may allah ta'ala reward you for that because i you know i've seen it uh, in action the intention is clear and there's no job small enough for you and there's no job big enough for you if the work is there to get done i've seen you roll your sleeves up and get it done no matter what you know what gives me the joy uh, more is you know i like challenges and, and I like niche market. You know, now you're you, you, you involved with me with the uh, NMJ Rescue 786. It's a niche market that we have picked up now that the community needs from the, for the last, from COVID to now, there's a lot of people need this type of service. And that's how I looked at it and I brought this service into play. And in the next two to three weeks, we'll be up and running. Today the vehicle was paid for. The vehicle is going to be here on Monday. We'll brand it, and the uh, the, the uh, I mean I must thank uh, IMA for the for the house they have given us. We are renovating, and hopingly in the next uh, our application will be gone on Monday, inshallah, uh, to to the Department of Health, and we'll get everything approved before the end of the month, and inshallah we'll have an opening. We'll invite the people. We'll say our this the first vehicle is on the road, and we'll make a plan to get another vehicle for for for. Uh, this thing, we need two vehicles, and in, when I spoke to everybody today, everybody wants to just say that they want to join us, they want to join us, so, you know, these are the things that, that drives me. I look for, you know, for me, I have always man maintained that we always must uh, get things for the community to make it self-sufficient yes. for the community. That is my goal. Now, after this year, Today, the whole entire day, there was a body at the government mortuary in uh, Phoenix. I was trying from the morning right up to just before Asar, I managed to sort it out, and that, that the person got buried today, Kaji, by our body. So, you know, the wife is telling me, when you came home, you just ate, and from, from, from after Juma, right up to Asar time, I was on the phone. Hmm. So, that is a sacrifice, and that gives me the joy to say, you know what, let me get this thing done, and that poor person was put to rest today. That gives me. So now, I've been toying around for the last five, six years to, to do away with this post-mortem. It is a mission, firstly, the Department of Health don't have vehicles. Number two, they don't have manpower. Today, they got hundred, almost 100 bodies there, post-mortem has to be done. They, they don't have doctors, enough doctors. So they've got a backlog, and there's a, also a strike because there's not proper PPE, there's not equipment, the workers are getting sick. 
So they have a problem. So this is another thing now I'm saying to myself, you know what, if this carries on, it's going to make it very difficult. I remember about a month ago, there was a person drowned in Galito. By the time they came and picked up the body, it was five hours later. Sure. So now what we're saying, Mohammed, is when we got our ambulance service, that body lying on the road there, we want to go and do a special deal with the right. Department of Health in terms of our right of religion, right of culture. We say we can't leave him there for four hours for your vehicle. We will pick up that body. We will take it to the mortuary. And then what we will do, sign an affidavit that we brought the body from point A to B. That body did not sustain any further injury. Mm. So that is the next, next thing we have to do. So you can see this one ambulance service we put in how much of benefit is going to be? Inshallah. Coming? Inshallah. And we've seen that. I mean, yeah. we've seen that Allah Ta'ala has had his hand on this. And I've seen many projects before that you've been involved in. It's sugar where there's the will and the intention is clear and clean. Allah Ta'ala, you know, makes the path easy and everything comes together. Shukar Alhamdulillah. You know, with this ambulance service, we, we, we spoke about it two, three weeks ago. We managed to get the house, number one. Number two, we managed to get the ambulance. Fully, and you know how Allah does it. We managed to get an ambulance that is fully kitted. Shukar, now, to kit an ambulance will be about half a million rands. Yes. To get a new one with everything you're looking at, about 1.2 million. So, uh, how Allah opened. Furthermore, we got the manager who's going to run the place, and we got the staff already. They're starting on the 1st of December. What else do you want? You know, when Allah opens door, you know, He just opens it. Uh, uh, it's an unlimited door open for us. He said, There's it here. If your intention is right, there you are, go do it. I think that's a lovely lesson as we end uh, the evening is if the intention is right. And may Allah Ta'ala keep all our intentions pure and clean. Uh, Uncle Ahmed, I'd like to thank you on behalf of Hilal TV, on behalf of the community for your efforts over decades in regard to the community. May Allah Ta'ala grant you long life to complete and embark on the new projects that you and I have shared with each other. And congratulations from all of us for this, uh, for this award. May Allah Ta'ala take you from strength to strength, inshallah. I only hope you got a valid passport because in January we're going to London. We're going to have a look at the machine so they can, can join me. When we come back a month later, we're taking the Department of Health to tell them there's it here, we have did it. We'll be the first in the country. Then we roll it out in the, all nine provinces. Inshallah. So, you know, what the facility it will be. You know, so we become self-sufficient. You can, my aim and object must be, you must not be dependent on the state. Agreed. That is the biggest problem. If you want to depend on the state, the, the road you're traveling is going to narrow on you. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi.